Neighbors in this Brighton Heights neighborhood tell me they're scared for their safety after pieces of rusted metal keep falling from this bridge. All of these metal pieces, uh, they're heavy. If they went through a windshield, hit somebody pushing their baby in a stroller. Outside of Don's Diner on the corner of Eckert Street sits a box filled with rusted metal and debris. The diner's owner, Marcy Kemmler, has been collecting it as it falls from the nearby California Avenue Bridge. We have been here, we have so many like families and customers are like my family and I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Kemmler says the debris has been falling off of the bridge for at least the last two years. The city of Pittsburgh says the bridge is listed in fair condition. City officials say they are aware of the concerns, though, and an emergency inspection of the bridge was performed earlier this month. The city says during that inspection, crews attempted to remove as much loose material as they could. There was supposed to be a netting in place uh, uh, last August, last, the fall. The fall of last year, they were supposed to have one up, but kind of got pushed back. So now daily there is just stuff falling off the bridge and it's very scary. The city says they have secured funding for the installation of some type of shielding, either netting or something made of steel for the underside of the bridge. As for when that shielding will be in place, a city official threw a statement saying in part, we're in the process of doing uh, the work to discover uh, as soon as we can. Uh, we're in the process of securing the materials and understanding are we going to go with the netting or are we going to go with the steel structure? So all of those decisions are happening now and we're hoping installation can start happening with in the coming weeks. In the meantime, Kemmler hopes no one gets hurt. I'm, I'm on edge. I am really on edge. The city tells me the bridge is scheduled for full rehabilitation with preliminary designs set for 2023 and construction slated to begin in 2025. Reporting from Pittsburgh's Brighton Heights neighborhood, Lily Coleman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.